Welcome, one and all, to Joe Bim Play a Game. On this episode, I'm going to be playing a little indie game called Erusul. Welcome to Erusul, the new Jerusalem. Doesn't really make that much sense yet, but maybe it will. It's a little indie game. Oh, I watched the trailer and I thought, that looks pretty heinous, let's play it. And for some reason, the X axis on the mouse is inverted, which is absolutely fucking retarded. I don't know why that is the case. I am a weird boy, though. I do use invert Y, so you're just going to have to hate me for that one. All right. Find cell phone, keys, tablet, and breakup letter. This house is very... Keys, cell phone, look at all this, look how gaudy it is, look at how, like, horribly bright all this shit is, like, god, that's, ah, I don't like it, I need to get out of this house, man, this guy walks as if he's, like, bouncing along on a happy little day, but he's fucking trying to find a breakup letter, so I don't think that is the case, or maybe he doesn't know yet, alright, cell phone, oh, that's a, Really loud noise. That's unnecessarily loud. So, it's not a bad little painting, photo, whatever it is. Oh, what's this? Email chain. Blah, blah. I thought you were my friend. I'm going to the mountains anyway. Not that you care. Hey, so sorry, but something came up. We'll take our quads out next weekend for sure. I have to go change the oil on mine, but that sounds like lots of fun. Let's go on Saturday. We should look for new trails out in the mountains. Hey, forget Sam. If Sam doesn't appreciate you, then that means we can spend more time together. We haven't taken our quads out together since you started dating. Let's take him out this weekend. Let's take our quads out. I love quad bikes. They're fun as. Press the pause button to re... What? Oh my god. This is poorly designed. Ah, okay. Pick a fine breakup letter. Where the... Surely just... Breakup letter. Alright, let's... Hey, it's really important you read this whole thing before reacting. Oh, okay. I don't know if I can do this anymore. We're moving so fast. I don't know if I can keep up. When we're together, everything feels great. But when we're apart, I feel empty inside. It's so confusing. I feel such joy and such pain inspired by the same person. I feel something holding me back. Like a weight every time we are together. I know I smile when we are together because I am really happy. That's... There should be a space there. But the sadness... And it should really... Anyway. But the sadness I feel when we are apart confuses me. I don't like this part of myself, whatever it is. I know you like me, but I feel so unlovable. I think I need to work on understanding and appreciating this part of me, whatever it is. The unlovable part. I don't think I can keep this up until I sort my feelings out. We should take some time apart to see other people. I need some time with my friends, and I think you should spend some time with yours. That's good. That's nice. I hope that you don't hate me for this. I really do care about you, but I need to sort out my feelings. Stay around, dog! Sam! <sighs> Alright, Sam. That sounds fine to me. Take my quads out. That's wicked. Alright, now what do I do? Is that the end of the fucking game? So this guy has to deal with his domestic issues and sort his life out. Why is the sound stopped? All the ambient sound has stopped. Whatever, man. What the fuck is this? Oh. Abandoned by your friends, you leave to spend the day tearing up a new part of the mountains on your quad bike. It feels good to be outdoors. The, the text is so small. The wind whipping past makes you feel alive. You weave between the sparse trees. Then there is a harsh pain across your chest. There was a rope tied between those last two trees. The bike keeps going, but you are stopped midair. Then you fall into darkness. 
just shadow of the tree, I guess. You wake up days, there is a woman outside digging, but digging what? It doesn't feel right. You have to get out of here. Alright. <laughs> oh. How intriguing. I press next. It's loading. Or crashing. Or... Oh, what the fuck? It's not inverted. Oh my god. How to build a wicked game. <laughs> Alright, there's that. She's not really digging. She's kind of just standing there. What is this thing that's popping into my vision? Am I holding like... She's gone! Ah, what the fuck? That's locked. Why is the toilet so close to the... Ah, this is actually kind of weird, man. Get out of me. This is a dilapidated old church or something. This, okay, that bobbing thing, I don't know what it is, but it is giving me the actual shits. Why is everything... Was that open before? Oh, I didn't try it. I don't want to be dead in a hole. Give me that shovel. Head bob, is that it? There we go. It was my own fucking head bouncing in front of my vision somehow. That's fucked. Ye all shall witness. What? Were they there? Oh, okay. God, this is such a good game. Alright, I guess I'll just go and fucking kill myself then. <sighs> okay. It's this oil barrel just sitting in a gazebo waiting to get married. This is a great game. I'm having fun here. Alright, let's have a look back. I probably didn't explore this other place well enough. This is just... <sighs> this is great. This is real great. Crickets have stopped again. They're sick of it. They've pissed off. Oh god, I probably should have read these. Alright. God. Well, Diary, it certainly has been a while since I've leafed through your pages. I'm afraid that without a need for it, I've lost track of the date. Instead of dating my entries, I'll number them from now on. It's nice to find you again, like making contact with an old friend. It will be even nicer to pour my thoughts and feelings into you again. Sounds hot. I forget how refreshing... I forgot how refreshing it was. I feel relaxed already. Life alone is a little more lonely than I expected. I suppose that is why alone and lonely are such similar words. But I have no regrets. I have no regrets. Alright, for some reason I have to press escape twice to get out of that. Well, we've got some music happening, some sort of significance. Alright, let's read number two entry. Oh no, 35. The bridge collapsed today, diary. <laughs> Perhaps I can find another route to the church. I still like to spend some time there occasionally. In death, my family is closer than ever before. That's weird. Their sins will not be forgotten, however. I found all of their diaries. This is a real thing with diaries. They are hidden away in their secret nooks and alcoves no longer. I will spread their pages around the homes they used to inhabit, and in doing so, remind their haunting spirits of the misdeeds that sealed their fate. Surely everyone has some sin that could inspire a similar fate. Mine is the murder of my own family. If I can be corrupted like that, surely everyone has that fearful potential. Alright. Murdered her family. Seems like probably not the girl to get involved with. 88. Diary, we have an intruder today. I wonder what sins weigh down their soul. At the very least, they have torn up this sacred valley with their vehicle. I alone, being the purger of sin, have the right to tread here. I will not allow this person to leave. March 15, 1992 was the last time someone left this valley. I will bring them to the church and lay them down with the other sinners. Brad must be feeling quite alone after all this time. He did not deserve a grave next to my family. He can have the company of this stranger. Taxi boy, this game is shit. Apparently, I'm supposed to be put in a grave out there, which I had established at the beginning, but retardedly not looked at the notes. I don't know what to do. This is annoying me. What do I do? This is so dumb. This is retarded, man. Oh, this is the door to... Oh, I'm an idiot, man. What? Fuck. This is stupid. Man, this is doing my small head in. Yeah! What do you do? Uh, I can't do it. I can't jump off the bridge. What a sad day. Fuck. What do you do? Oh my fucking god.
What's this then? So, you fucking knocked up Kath. You're pissed off about it. You gotta get a job, you lazy little bastard. There you go. Oh, here's another one. David again. Finally, after three whole weeks of pestering him, my dad gave me a job. Sheesh, that took a while. You know, his own flesh and blood, and he worries me like that. Whatever it is, all I have to do mechanic, and advertising, and my own business, and smooth sailing, stupid mechanics, because that is also made a better name, and that's high, so it doesn't make a really good smile. Meantime, daddy's taking a hunting trip, so hunting trips are pretty funny. He's gonna have to give me a lesson, because it's a war story. Last time, I'm telling you, I'm gonna get a and cozy and safe, and he's tanked the whole time, so the stories, the history, the lecture from school. I guess it's only made dad listening to the stories, so he did just give me the job after all. Right, yeah, so daddy took you hunting. Isn't that sweet? Let's look upstairs first. Alright, what's in here? Ah! Aha! Ooh! So, his little daughter's smashing up good, turning into a nice young lady. What, Catherine? Ah, oh, that's just unnerving. But, like, is she gone now? She only. Can you only see her from upstairs, maybe? Oh! Oh, I'll scare my own self. You can only see from upstairs, that's fucked. Anyway, a little bit spooked. It's a lot of rocking chairs. What was that? I'm stressing out now, this is... Yeah, right. Wait, what? Oh! What the fuck? What the... the, the okay. Oh, oh! What the fuck, man? Oh, okay. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what the fuck? That noise was scary. What the fuck, man? Alright, that's enough for today. I have to get ready for work anyway. I'll play more of this fucking weird shitty game next time.